Hey guys, Swamp Yankee here. Uh, happy April 15th, tax day. Uh, hopefully you did your taxes and sent Uncle Sam his little cut. <laughs> uh, it's a nice cold day here in Charleston, West Virginia. It's actually snowing outside, go figure. But anyway, I wanted to do this uh, gun review. Um, I haven't did a review in a while. My computer's been acting up a little bit. So, but anyway, uh, I just want to show you this gun I got. It's an H&R uh, 929 Sidekick. Um, I got it actually from my father-in-law a few months back. Um, he gave it to me for free, which, you know, can't complain. A uh, little history on this gun real quick. My father-in-law picked it up back in the early 70s, I believe it was, he said. Uh, he paid about a whole 60-some dollars for this gun at the time, <laughs> which is great. Um, he shot it a few times. He said the last time he believes he shot it was in the early 80s. Uh, and then after that, he just put it in his closet and pretty much forgot about it. So this gun is pretty much almost 40-some years old. Um, when I got it a few months back, he gave it to me. I brought it home and checked it out. Uh, it was pretty, pretty rough shape. It was pretty dirty inside. Uh, I did a, a breakdown of it, cleaned up really, really good. I noticed the main spring was a little funky, but, you know, no big deal. Uh, I took it out to the gun range a couple days later. Um, cycled a good nine rounds through it. Not a problem. Uh, and then I tried to cycle another nine rounds. The second uh, cylinder I was shooting, I got off two rounds before it started jamming up on me. Uh, I didn't really understand it, but I, you know, cleaned it out and, and I just took it back home. Cleaned it up a little bit, took it apart, reassembled it. And come to find out... This is a mainspring. Um, I don't know if you know much about H&R, um, the Harrison Richard Company, but I believe they, from what I know, I could be wrong, but I believe they went into business back in the early 80s, mid-80s maybe. Um, they were uh, around since the early 1900s, I do believe, if not longer than that. Um, I guess they were a really good company back in, the, back in the day. I mean, I believe they made some ARs and stuff like that back in the Vietnam era. Um, but I believe it went out of business back in the early to mid 80s. Um, I don't know if the company was bought out by, I think it was Smith & Wesson maybe, I'm not sure the whole history of it. But I know they don't make any more firearms um, since the late 80s. So that being said, it's a little bit hard to find some parts for these, especially cheap parts. Um, I was going online, tried to find the mainspring for this. I mean, the gun's a very solid gun, it's all steel gun. Um, the only thing I find the weirdest is plastic grips and this little uh, spring head right here is plastic. That's the only thing. Everything else is pretty much solid steel. So I went online, found a main spring component. Um, I was looking for an all steel one, but they only had the plastic ones. And this little little baby right here costs like 35 bucks, which, <laughs> but you know, beggars can't be choosers. So I did purchase it. I got it actually today. It only took about four or five days to ship, which I was pretty impressed. Um, I. I disassembled it and put it in there and everything and it seems like it works fine um so hopefully next week or the week after i'll be taking this to the range and you know making sure it works pretty good but it seems like it's functioning very well right now but let me get into the gun real quick um i don't really know how much these guns retail right now if you can find them even i don't know they might be considered collector's items i'm not too sure i didn't do too much history on uh these firearms at the moment other than looking for parts uh, but if you can find one, I'd definitely suggest it. It's a nice little 22 uh, long rifle revolver. Uh, first of all, let me start with the, the holster. It's a black holster, and I believe it's made, see, F-I-T, or no, F-I-E, or F-T-E. I'm not sure if that's going to be a T or an I. Uh, made in Japan. It's a, I'm not sure if this is the original holster that came with this gun. Uh, I didn't ask my father-in-law at the time. Um, but it fits perfect. I mean, it's a nice, nice holster. It's a nice leather holster, and it fits great. Um, the gun itself, I believe it's uh, about six inch barrel. It's an H&R uh, 929 uh, 22 long rifle. It's a nine shot. Let me uh, safety check it. Empty. Um, nice little cylinder revolver. It's a double single action. Uh, the double action is a little hard. Um, the single action is really nice on this gun. Um, the only problem I've had, like I said, with this gun so far was the mainspring, which I did replace that. So hopefully that eh, will solve my problems. Um, Accuracy-wise, the first uh, nine rounds I shot were pretty good. They weren't actually too bad. Um, you can adjust the, the back sight here, which I noticed is a little wobbly, so I'm going to have to adjust that again and tighten it up um, when I take it out to the range next time. Um, but if you do see these guns, they're actually a nice buy. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't know if you can pick these up at, uh, 
pawn shops anymore if they even you know if anyone even has any of the cell but uh this is a really nice gun i haven't seen major issues with it um i did see a little a little dent right here on the cylinder but uh i think that was just because it was dropped back back in the day um nothing too bad though um the gun was cleaned up very nice and you know it's a pretty nice gun um if you have any questions about this gun you know send me a uh Put it in your comments or whatever, especially if you want to see how you can replace the mainspring on this. Because when I was looking for it, I only found one or two videos and it wasn't very helpful. Um, so if anyone else has one of these guns and you want to learn how to replace the mainspring, it's not too difficult. It is kind of a pain in the butt, but it's not too difficult. Um, other than that, it's a nice, nice little revolver, um, especially for a 22. So if you do come across one of these, I would really suggest to pick it up, uh, depending on the price. Like I said. He got this back in the 70s for like 60 some bucks. Um, what they would go for now, I, I don't know. I can't see more than 100 and some, if if that, unless they're really collectors. Um, but you know, that's that's my uh, quick little review of my H&R uh, 929 Sidekick um, 22 Long Rifle Revolver. Uh, like I said, and also if you have any questions or whatever, just throw them in the comment section, and I'll try to reply as soon as I can. All right, thanks a lot.